Um, hello. It's been kind of a weird day. I've had, for the most part, an average day, except for the things that I've been thinking about. Things that I've been thinking about are pretty deep stuff. I woke up this morning, and my brother told me that my cousin's husband died last night. He was a really good guy. You know, he was nice. He was a, he was a dad, a husband, you know, a brother, a son. And now he's gone. He was about 30. He was really young. I wasn't that close to him, but he was, you know, he was a good guy. He's gone. I keep thinking about life. You know, how precious it is when someone old dies. It's like, well, you know, they get to live. When someone, let's say, in their 50s dies, you're like, well, you know, they were young, but they, they get to live quite some time. He was 30. What the fuck? Today's Monday. Right, Saturday, he went to one of our niece's uh, birthday party, and, and he was fine. You know, he ate and drank, and, and just, you know, he was at a birthday party. And then after that, they went to a Clippers game. Then, I don't know what they did Sunday, but he just woke up this morning at about 4 in the morning. He didn't feel good, and then my cousin took him to the hospital, and at 5, he was dead. He was dead. How do you go from one day being fine? Can you imagine what it must have been like? Going to bed with your wife. Everything's fine. And then you're waking up. You feel sick. It's probably nothing, but, you know, just in case. And then an hour later, you're dead. I just kept thinking over and over. That can happen to me. I think they're still doing the autopsy. I don't think they know exactly what happened yet. And they had a kid. I was seven years old. He's seven. And at seven years old, you can tell the difference between happy, sad, angry, but he didn't really know his dad, you know? Because my little brother's eight. He wouldn't be able to describe someone how, what kind of person I was. Except, you know, we were happy. We played and had fun. Other than that, he's not really going to know his dad, so that sucks. That just fucking sucks, you know? Life is so... Precious. I mean, it can be gone like that. Literally. For him, it happened in an hour. I just wanted to say, life is such a precious thing. And although it is the longest thing that we will ever do, it is so fucking short. And I know that's a contradictory statement, but it is true. It is a short life that we will live for a long time. And for some people, it is very short. Don't even know how I can look at her. How am I supposed to go up to her? What am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to say hi? I'm sorry? That's sad. And it's crazy and shit. Make sure your family knows you love them. Tell your friends that you appreciate them. You don't have to tell them you love them. Just say, you know, I'm really glad you're in my life. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna text my close friends and <sighs> well a few minutes ago I ran out of memory in this iPod enjoy yourselves tell your friends that sounded dirty I'm sorry tell your friends that you care about them tell your family that you care about them enjoy the good people in your life enjoy your life more importantly because it can end any second literally enjoy every second of your life okay it's something that I, I I pride myself in preaching. I'm, I tell, when people see my tattoo or anything like that, I tell them almost the full explanation. I tell them that I was in a bad place and that I was not living life the way that I, I sh that in a way that made me happy. And I'm telling you guys now, from experience, live your life and enjoy every moment of it because you don't know when it's going to end. Enjoy everyone. It's on me forever, okay? Forever. It's on here forever. Really, really, please. If not for me, for yourselves. Live every moment. And I appreciate you all. And I'm making sure that you guys know that. Because I tell you guys that often. I appreciate you. And I love you. And I thank you. For being such a huge part of my life. This is a 
this is a big part of my life. So thank you and goodbye. And I'll see you tomorrow.